Faith came into our family in January of 03. My son, Reuben, was actually 17 at the time. He played ball. One of his uh, football friends asked him to go bury some dead puppies that his mother's dog had given. And when they did, Reuben found uh, Faith under, his, under her mom, doing what you and I would say humanely. The mother was trying to put the dog down, but Reuben didn't like what he saw, and so he interrupted nature a bit and brought uh, Faith home to us. Is your chin scratched? That feels good. She's so pretty. petite, little, this little petite little pretty her thing. Name, her name transcends all religions, really, and everyone has to have something to believe in. She had to believe in herself, and when she decided to walk on her own, we named her Faith. Before that, I just called her Yellow Dog. That's the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen dogs with little walkers in the front legs, but just walking around on his hind legs, that's... Unbelievable. My dog actually became a sergeant in the Army at, the, at uh, Fort Lewis in Seattle, Washington. They commissioned her there, and she does have an MOS, and it is to make people happy. It's an entertainment, so we go to as many places as we can, uh, usually military if, we, if, if at all possible, in order to see different uh, aspects of the military life. She needs to get used to that just in case she does get deployed. You know, she needs to, she needs to be trained <laughs> on how to do things. Faith actually recognizes men and women who are wearing ACUs, and she will actually recognize the Army uniform over the Marine uniform when they're pretty close. The digitals are pretty close together, but she does differentiate. And she's not a devil dog. She is an Army dog. But she will actually accept all other forces. <laughs> she loves them all. What an inspiration she must be to those service people who have lost limbs. That's remarkable for a dog to walk around on two legs. She wasn't engineered to do that, but she has learned to do it. And they'll, that will encourage them to learn to go on, too, with what they have. Our message, really, we always tell people, is that you don't have to be 100% complete in order to be perfect. You don't. You don't have to have every limb or every finger or every appendage. You don't have to have, you know, every single thing that someone thinks is perfect to be perfect. You don't have to look perfect to be perfect. So. And there's life. Life out there. Just go find it.